blaze of strokes. With him, Stretcher, the youngster, keeper, who's already made his mark in this tournament. He did in 2006. Right-hander, there he is, Andre Fletcher. And uh, a very good average and a very good strike rate as well. Yes, folks, and they're going to be facing some heat, man, because Tino Best knows that up front he wants to make sure his team get psychological vantage straight away. He's going to come running in at least 145. He's been the fastest in the tournament, that's no doubt, but he wants to get faster. He wants to bowl it as fast as he can. He's got to get in the right area. Now, the field placing will be a slip in place. I'd be surprised if there wasn't two in place. And uh, they've got to make sure they stop the singles. There's the one slip there. And the other one there. There. Now. Folks, if you're sitting at home watching this, Hold on to your seat because I think that this is going to be an exciting little first 10 overs here. There is so much to play for. You lose, you're gone. You're out of the million bucks. You win, you're in the jackpot. And there are not many sides to go after that. And Tony Kozia, he's itching for his game to get going. Here's Tino Best trying to live up to his surname. And starts with a no ball. It's uh, over the waist, slipped from his grasp. A warning from uh, umpire Billy Doctrove. Tino Best has had difficulties with uh, balls such as that, deliveries such as that. Beamers, they're called. Well, this may shake his confidence a little bit. He's got to be now more than careful. And he's got to probably just try and hit length. Sorts of confusion out there. No free hit after that no ball because it was above the level of the waist. Only when the bowler oversteps the front crease. And we saw that from Grenada tonight. They were very good on the ground. They bowled generally well, but uh, they spilled four catches. There was a, a missed stumping and five no balls, therefore five free hits in discipline in that area. Well, he's hit him at 145 kilometers an hour. It was on to him in a flash. Prepare to take it on, which would mean... Let's have a look where he hit him. Yeah, straight on the grid. Now, if he didn't have one of those on, he would have been uh, spitting some teeth out, picking them up on the ground, maybe in hospital by now. Real pace. Well, I think he has... Uh, probably to get uh, some assistance from the dressing room with that grill it's been damaged it's not in the same condition it was a delivery ago there's a quite a distinct dent on it look at the speed the time that you're going to have to to see it half a second right here we go Take that, son. Fetch that ball. All the way for four. What a great reply. Well, he's taken a blow on the grill of the helmet. That must have shaken him. But then he comes back and produces this shot through the offside for a boundary. Raced away for four. 92 miles an hour that delivery. It came down to Devon Smith. It went from the bat even faster. Yep, it was the fastest ball of the tournament. Went for four. Buckle in. Best not going to like that at all. Just to push into the offside for a single.
So that fourth delivery, 148.1 kilometers an hour. There are not many bowlers in international cricket who can generate the pace of over 90 miles an hour. Best is one of them. Two slips in place for the right hander. Oh, that's a good delivery. Lots of pace and bounce. He's found his rhythm as best. Difficult to play. Tino Best has played uh, quite a few test matches for the West Indies and one day internationals, but he won't be available any longer. He's uh, signed a contract with the Indian Cricket League, the 20 overs tournament non-sanctioned tournament unofficial here is last delivery wide real wide so he is wild he is fast but he's had a no ball and a wide already in his first over and seven have come from it yeah his biggest problem is his emotions isn't it he's got to he's got to chain those but just have a look at the the eyes of Fletcher a wide so this is the time when you're standing on the other end somebody's running in at 145 plus and have your wits about you get into line lift the bat up early be light on your feet keep watching the adrenaline flows through you lovely drive oh yes he got it wrong and been punished again for four 11 off the first over, a dramatic one.